This particular growth strategy, it encompasses a number of areas. Like it in, includes, at, it looks at some of the key uh, strengths of the province, uh, the remittances, the regional connectivity, uh, the kind of urban agglomeration that we have. So in addition to that, it also looks at the inclusive part of it where it talks about uh, education, uh, health, as well as skills development. And it also talks about the key development sectors of the province like agriculture, services, manufacturing. So it is a very comprehensive document. Uh, there are various elements within that and various uh, strategies that the province or the plans that the province uh, normally undertakes. But because we have traveled three years down the road, I believe it's always good to have a look, another look at the strategy. The broader features or the broader elements of it will remain the same because these are the strengths of the province that have been there for many years. So uh, those strengths will be there, those principal features will be there, but some more developments have taken place, some private sector investments have come up, uh, some more investment has been made in health and education, uh, some more emphasis has been made on institutional building, some international dynamics have changed the Micro, uh, the macro framework, economics framework at the federal level or at the national level has changed also. So keeping in view all those uh, elements, I think we always need to uh, give it a review and add those new elements as part of the strategy.